In 2010, six shipments of bioactive Manuka honey worth around $6 million failed border tests and threatened to close market access into the US and China. The honey was genuine, but the false positive test results led to overseas agencies assuming this was because of sugar adulteration, which results in automatic disqualification by importing countries. In New Zealand, honey undergoes a variety of testing. At GNS Science, we're doing the sugar adulteration test, and that's to look for added C4 sugars such as sucrose, or overseas they often look for high fructose corn syrups, but that's not here in New Zealand. We're only looking at cane sugars. This test is done internationally at borders, especially when you're exporting honey to other countries, and they're looking to see is this honey adulterated or not before they allow it into their country to be put on the supermarket shelves to be sold. Uh, adulteration in general around the world is increasing. Honey is becoming a highly sought after product. Clean green honey such as New Zealand provides is even harder to find. Chinese honey is becoming a big problem with antibiotics and often you're finding even honey is not honey, it's a concoction of sugar. Even in the USA, Australia, you can expect some low to medium grade levels of adulteration. What we're doing is we take the honey sample and we analyse that and we must compare it with an internal standard which is the protein in the honey. As you can see there's a precipitate at the bottom, which is that brown sludge, that's the protein from the honey. Now this protein is independent of any sugar that's been potentially fed to bees or incorporated into the honey. The protein doesn't contain sugar. We want to extract that protein and clean it up, and here it is once it's cleaned up, and here it is once it's dry in a powder form. And this now will be compared with the original honey to see that they've both got the same composition. We find that when we analyse manuka honey, especially the high activities, that systematically these honeys are failing the test. It's not because there's extra sugar added in, which is what we're trying to detect, but there seems to be something going on with the protein, which means that the protein is different from the honey. Manuka honey does have some very unique properties, and these are the cause of this particular shift in the protein. With manuka honey, we found that when honey is heated, it will fail the test. Uh, we've also found that you must store it in cool conditions and probably you want to sell your honey early on even though most of the manuka honey that is highly active needs to be stored uh, to mature its activity. Hi Andrew, I've got some samples for you. Okay. This is, uh, needs to be done by Friday, they're quite urgent ones. The international border agencies have been quite alarmed by the fact that New Zealand honey is failing and that's resulted in a lot more testing going on. We're hoping that with the testing and with the research that we're doing here at GNS Science that we can roll out our understanding of Manuka honey to put some boundaries around what is expected for a genuine Manuka honey and what is expected for a false or an adulterated Manuka honey. Bees need sugar feeding. We accept that. They have to have it to survive the winter. However, you can feed too much. And this is what the test is designed to pick up, where excess feeding of sugar has occurred. In this exceptional case that we're finding now with manuka honey, we're seeing that manuka honey will fail even if sugar has not even been fed. So we have some certain messages that we want to give to beekeepers to ensure that they can keep their honey in optimum condition so that it arrives overseas and is tested and it will pass the tests. We've been working with the Association of Analytical Chemists. These are the chief regulators in the USA for this particular test. And they have actually this year, based on my research, modified the testing criteria to actually soften it so that certain honey types, unusual honey types such as Manuka, can be accepted. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.